Why don't we finish up that moment of inertia lab that we started uh, uh, before the uh, the virus hit? Um, here we have our, our rod, and uh, you can get the dimensions of the rod and the masses uh, from this video. Um, I didn't have enough. I didn't have a, lo a long enough ruler for the whole rod, so I put two of them together, and I lined them up real nicely, and then I bumped them during the shooting. So you can see they're a little off, so you're going to have to figure out how to... Uh, Bring those together. Luckily, they're transparent. Also, there is a line through the center. That's the center of the lens, and that will help you with your measurements. Here uh, we have uh, the masses of the, the two uh, weights. One of them had tape on it. One didn't, so you can tell them apart. Uh, there's the mass of the rod. And here's the setup. And uh, there's the hanging mass. And you could see how big that mass was in that first video. Uh, it was in the first video. And you can see which hub we're wrapped around and uh, releasing it. I'm running two cameras here so you can see that uh, we can see the velocity versus time graph as we go. And we can also see the setup. All right. So from the uh, velocity versus time graph, uh, I'm going to choose a section that looks pretty linear. The whole thing looks pretty linear. But anyways, I'm going to choose this and uh, do a curve fit. And uh, that looks linear to me, so I'm doing a linear fit, and there we go. Uh, there's our linear fit of a velocity versus time graph. And uh, let's do it again, because it's a good science experiment. Got to make sure we have multiple trials. There we go. And all uh, right, choose a linear section, curve fit, velocity versus time. Oh, that slope is different. What the heck happened there? Why was that slope so different? That's weird. All right, let's try it again. Uh, boop, 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 boop. It's coming down. Keep in mind, the weight is not applying a torque. The string is applying a torque, and the weight is applying a force to the string. Oh, that slope is about the same. Interesting. All right. And uh, here we have, uh, if we can get our dimensions of the hub. Um, I've put the ruler... Uh, right along the center of the hub. So it's going right through the diameter. So there shouldn't be any parallax issues um, with the, the edges of the hub and the ruler because they're right at the center. And you can see the uh, frame center line that I drew there. And that might be helpful for you. All right, so why don't you give me a write-up? Uh, keep it to two pages. You can take a photo and what's mailed to me. Get that to me by Friday. Uh, give me a purpose. Uh, calculation of moment of inertia using length and mass measurements. Uh, make sure you're, everything's organized nicely with diagrams and your data organized and all that. Calculation of moment of inertia using experimental data. Uh, give me a nice diagram. Include the derivation of the equation you're going to use to calculate the moment of inertia and uh, give me an error analysis. And why don't you get that to me by Friday? I hope all is well. Uh, things are going okay here, um, and uh, I'll see if I can get some more lab stuff going uh, in the future. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Extreme Laboratory Physics.